So in this video, I want to share with you how I nearly lost it all my first one to four months in the life insurance industry. I was told to do what every life insurance agent is told to do at first, buy a ton of leads, sell a ton of life insurance, and rinse and repeat. And that's what I did. Um, I was spending thousands and thousands of dollars on leads every week, and I was learning how to sell a ton of life insurance. I sold like 20,000 my second month in the business, and then going into my fifth month, I sold nearly $80,000 in a single month of premiums. But the problem was, at the end of the month, I was getting the pats on the back, like, dude, you were doing amazing. What are you doing? How are you making all this money? But the secret was, I wasn't making as much money as people thought, and I wanna be honest with you. And it's because I didn't track this number. And this number will change everything in your business. Business and it's something that we track diligently now in our agency. And ultimately now, after tracking it, this is exactly how I can sit back and receive renewals and receive commission checks from business that I sold you know, years and months ago because I focused on this one number. And this one number will change our business and change my business and allow me to actually wake up one day and say, okay, I can breathe and I can make actually good money in this industry. And it's by tracking placement, okay? And it's so overlooked in the industry. What is placement? I didn't know this for the longest time. Placement is actually making sure the business that you write and the business that you sell places. Meaning that when you sell Miss ba Betty a life insurance policy on the first of this month, that her policy actually goes into force, that she makes her payment. But what I did, and ultimately at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you the three ways that I went from a 40% 50% placement to an 82 to an 85% placement, which changed my business is because of three things. Now, let me explain why this is so significant. Now, if you sell 50,000 of AP, but you have a 50% placement, so you sold 50,000 of AP, you're on the leaderboards, you're feeling really good, but only 50% of that places, you now have spent leads. You have now accounted for making $50,000 supposedly, and then you're feeling really, really good. But if only half of that places, you actually only submitted 25,000 of actually placed business, meaning that your front end cash collected is so different, meaning that you have less cash than you ever would assume coming into your business to reinvest back into leads. And secondly, your long-term value of your client is completely diminished and off-putting, and you don't know how to build a sustainable business because of your placement. So let me share with you the three reasons why this is crucial. Okay. The first reason I had a terrible placement is because I didn't, I allowed clients to post date. Now, when you're selling people who are poor, I guess poor, take that lightly, or in fixed incomes or social security who are bringing in $1,200 a month, who are in a really, really tight budget. And this is what I would do. I would say, Miss Betty, okay, it is, let's say the first of the month. Miss Betty, you know, what's a good day that you want the policy to start? Oh, can we do the third of next month? Okay, Miss Betty, did you get paid today? She says, yes. I said, okay, well, let's go ahead and push it out to the third of next month, okay? So what happens is, is I would actually submit that business the following month, even though that she has the money now, and what would happen is when that came, she didn't have the money because Miss Betty didn't have the money on the first. How the heck is she gonna have it on the third? So just a quick thing that I did and a quick fix that allowed me to improve my pl placement is if you can't pay for it now, how are you gonna pay for it in the future? And being a scared and intimidated agent at first and wanting to only submit AP and be on the leaderboards, I didn't think about that. I was like, I'll do whatever you want me to do as long as I can post in this group chat that I made a sale and that I pushed it out to another day and that my leaderboard numbers go up. And when I did that, and I didn't sell immediate business or I didn't push them out or question them. When are you going to actually have this money in your bank account? When the third came around, when Miss Betty promised me that she was going to make this payment, guess what? Insufficient fund or NSF, meaning that she didn't have the money in her bank account or the account was closed. And this is what ruined me in the business. I was selling a ton of business, but none of it was placing. Okay. Now, the second thing that was really important is that I was, you know, submitting business that was not good. I was submitting business where, you know, they were using their card or they were going out there and they needed to think about it. So let's get you just qualified. And I didn't have any actual friction in the sales process. So one thing that we changed and allowed me to kind of get through that or actually build a sustainable business was building friction in the process. And by building friction, I mean this. So Miss Betty, you know, what day this is what I used to do. Miss Betty, what day do you want to go ahead and set this up? Oh, the third of the month. Okay. Okay, let's just go ahead and do thir third of the month. Do I have to pay for anything today? No. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do the application. You can think about it. Compared to what I focus on now, that dramatically increased our placement is Miss Betty. Okay, on the third of the month, can you promise me, will that you know $62.52 be comfortable and affordable for you every single month? 
Yes. Do you promise that you'll have that money in your bank account every single month? Yes, Miss Betty, and can ultimately, can you make sure that when that day comes that you're going to have this money because I want to make sure that I put a policy that is actually going to help your family. So when I got the client to commit and to promise me and to actually have some, of it, some type of investment in their policy, it was dramatically life-changing for our business. So right now, if you're just getting people approved or pre-qualified, or let's go ahead and set this up whenever you want it, you're going to receive a placement that is very dramatically poor and ultimately impact your results. And you're never going to receive the commission that you expected because your placement is so low. Now, the third thing that I did is I focused my mindset of just getting people policies and getting clients for life. What that meant is that when that time came, so I wanted to build a system where after the sale, the client knew that I was there for him. So Miss Betty got a text knowing that I'm going to be her agent for life. Miss Betty got a text message too, five days before, three days before, two days before, and on the day that her policy payment was scheduled to come out. And I wanted to make sure that that policy came out because previously what I did and completely run my business is that I was so focused on acquiring clients. I was focused on acquiring or buying more leads and leads came in that the clients that I sold, I neglected. So when Miss Betty's policy came back as NF NSF or return you know, of funds, I never called her. I never even like wanted to manage that book of business because I was like, you know, I'm so skilled. I'm going to sell more policies. Let's go ahead and, and call someone else and get a better client. But ultimately this rinse and repeat, this rinse and repeat allowed me to sell a ton of premium. But the business that I was occurring or getting was absolutely not beneficial to the sustainability and long-term goals of actually making money in the business. To instead, when I got the text message saying, Miss Betty, hey, Peter, can you move the payment? Or yeah, the money is here. Or yeah, let's go ahead and take that payment now. Or yeah, I have the money and I got the policy packet. Thank you for checking in on me. The placement dramatically increased. But at first I was so scared. I was so timid to put these friction or these barriers of entry to these clients because I thought, man, they are going to cancel on me before I even get their policy. But when I focus on finding clients and and nurturing and making sure that they're taken care of and making these promises and helping them make promises and ultimately allowing them to not start a policy that's 30 days out or 28 days out and putting a solution in place now, this ultimately changed my placement and allowed me to make money. And ultimately the result of that is that you can build sustainability. You can allow yourself to sell clients for life and you can put people in positions knowing that they're gonna make their payment, I'm gonna receive my commission check and I can feed my family. Again, the goal is not to just sell policies, to get them on the leaderboards, to feel like you're doing well. But ultimately, if your bank account is dry and you're not making money and you're going backwards, you will suffocate yourself in the business. And this is what I did. And this breaking point almost walked me away and took me away from the life insurance business because I did not figure this out because selling people who are on fixed incomes take an extra level of care, need an extra reminder, need an extra hand being hold. And ultimately, they will be clients for life. But you have to do your job as the agent to nurture them, to help them make their payment and allow them to know that you are are going to be there to serve them for the rest of your life. So if you're not tracking placement, I would recommend, hey, that's something that I focus on every single day and want to make sure that our agents and even when I was selling was crucial to our success. So immediate start dates, you know, add friction in the sales process by making promises or letting them make promises to you. And third, building out a system where they're actually being reminded and letting them know that, hey, you know, Peter's got my back. He's a client for life. And, you know, creating a process where they're they're knowing that the payments are coming out and there's no surprises about paying their life insurance bill. Help me go from an agent who was, you know, scared, who was looking at the chargebacks, who was looking at all the, you know, people who just return their payments or putting the cards on payments and not getting the cash flow and wanting where the where's my money at and how am I going to make this sustainable to you now building a sustainable business where, you know, we can understand how much cash we can collect to build a business now where I'm still renewing renewal checks from people that I put the place or who replaced the policies and became clients for life. So if you guys want to do it, uh, I would highly recommend it, but ultimately almost went from a scared broke agent who was making no money, but looking really good on the leaderboards to actually selling less business, having better business and making more money. So it's all because of that one number of tracking placement. I hope this video helped you guys. It brought you a ton of value. My goal and my mission is to help you as a life insurance agent learn the things that I wish I knew when I was scared, hopeless, and had no one to turn to, to ultimately hopefully figure this out so that you can guys can provide a better lifestyle for your family and to win and do it by helping people. I love you guys and I hope this video helped you. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Cheers.